I'm most excited about is just going out and making a difference. And I'm just so happy that, you know, I made this milestone. I worked really hard and I've had some wonderful professors and faculty and I'm thankful for you. I would love to thank my mother and my father who passed away recently. So definitely thank you and love you. And I would definitely love to thank Community College for helping me even get through my prereqs and helping me get into their school. I would like to thank my mom and my dad for supporting me through this journey and putting me through school and always instilling in me to have good values and dreams. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad, and also my grandmother and my boyfriend for helping me get to this position. CCP, Path to Possibilities. I am extremely excited. I really want to just scream right now for the excitement right now, because I am like in awe of myself right now. So. Congratulations to all the graduates. Yes, 2022. I'm thankful for all my professors and my fellow students, and this is really exciting. So I'm happy to be here and uh, kind of nervous. <laughs> I would like to thank my grandma. Um, she's been through this entire ride with me. And what I'm most excited for the, for the future is hopefully starting a business and um, just starting my entire life, starting a family and everything like that. I'm most thankful to my family for being in support. Uh, my family, unfortunately my mother and my father couldn't make it here today. I'm a first generation graduate of my household and so it's a blessing and I thank the Lord for this opportunity. Thank you CCP. Can share a love divine, but don't make me wait again. When will you say yes to me? Tell me, quando, quando, quando. Happiness to me. Oh, my love, please tell me when. Every moment's a day. Every day seems a lifetime. Let me show you the way to a joy beyond compare. I can't wait a moment more. Oh, tell me quando, quando, quando. me that you adore and then darling tell me Every moment's a day Every day 
seems a lifetime Let me show you the way To a joy beyond compare I can wait a moment Quando, quando, quando you say it's me that you adore And then, darling, tell me when Oh, my darling, tell me when Darling, tell me when oh, my darling, tell me Love 
May I have your attention, please? Commencement is about to begin. We ask that you please take your seats quickly and quietly as possible. You have been hearing, for your enjoyment, the musical performance that will feature Community College of Philadelphia Jazz Ensemble, directed by instructor Evan Graver on bass, with music performance students Haya Eichen, Tatiana Hayward, and Damian Santiago on vocals, Josh Hillard on trumpet, Zach Sakowski on alto sax, Michael Hines on tenor sax, Haber Monroy and Haya Aiken on piano, Jasine Madim on drums, and Dominic Russo on bass. Please do not approach the stage during the ceremony to take your pictures. Thank you. Back to the band? Yeah. Back to the band. Back to the band.
true In other words I love you
Rise as the faculty gonfalon bearers representing the college's degrees and certificate programs enter the arena.
Dr. Lindsay Madison is the gonfalon bearer for the Associate in Arts degrees. Malika Rockman is the gonfalon bearer for the Associate in Applied Science degrees. Dr. Linda Powell is the gonfalon bearer for the Associate in Science degrees. Lastly, Chuck Herbert is the gonfalon bearer for certificates. Please remain standing for the entrance of the mace bearer, Dr. Garija Nagaswamy, and the presidential party, including the members of the Board of Trustees, members of the Federation Board, the President, administrative leadership, and honored guests. Please remain standing and remove your hats and caps for our national anthem performed by Tatiana Hayward, class of 2022. Whose 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale polar fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs were sting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there all oh, said us that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land and of the free and the home of the As she walks off the stage, how about another round of applause for Tatiana Haywood, representing the class of 2022, starting us off right. Good morning, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, families and friends and students. It is a privilege and an honor to welcome you to the 56th commencement exercise of Community College of Philadelphia. It is even more a privilege and honor to congratulate our class of 2022. How about we start off on the right foot here? Although we remain, we remain in uncertain times and have altered today's ceremony slightly for safety purposes, including, I must tell you now, we'll do fist bumps and elbow bumps instead of the traditional handshakes. We are really excited to be celebrating in person today as we recognize 1,803 outstanding candidates for graduation. Today, we celebrate you and commend you for the accomplishments of your educational journey and the realization of your dreams. You faced adversity and you stared it down. While the pandemic disrupted life as we know it, you stayed the course you persevered, and with the determination and uncompromising tenacity, you accomplished what you set out to do, which is to achieve your associate's degree and or certificate. That's right, that's right. We're, we're celebrating today, it's okay. We know this was no easy task. You were able to pivot into an online world where, of course, the phrase of the year, the phrase of the decade has been, you're on mute. But nevertheless, you were able to focus and think critically, acquire new knowledge, solve problems, master certain concepts, and develop the ability to get to this point in your lives. Along the way and as a result, you have become a better person, a better citizen. You will be a leader in your communities and in your families. But we all know you did not do it alone. We know that it takes a village, so at this point, we need to take a moment and celebrate those who came this journey with you. Give them a round of applause, point to them, shout them out, your friends, your parents, your children, your brothers and sisters, whoever helped you along the way, whoever gave you a comforting shoulder, a comforting word. How many mothers do we have in the audience today? What a great Mother's Day gift for everybody. For the mothers whose kids and children are out here ready to graduate, it's a great, it's a great present for those of you who are students who are mothers. It's a great present for you. It's a great present for you and your, and your children as the example you are, you are, you are making. I would also like to celebrate our faculty. The faculty are over here. Which side? They're on this side, right? Give a round of applause for our faculty, our staff, the tutors and counselors. They were the internal village that helped you along the way. They help you to realize your potential, and they help you to understand a world in most cases you probably didn't realize for yourselves. Because of them, you now have the keys to achieve and realize your dreams. They have provided you with the knowledge and experience 
to have an impact in your profession and advance your education towards a bachelor's degree, hopefully, because we believe in lifelong learning. In many ways, they were your mentors, your role models, and sometimes they were just a friend, a friend who helped you get through the day. Through your educational experience, you have found fellow classmates with like interests and similar problems and challenges, as well as aspirations, that have become your friends and become a vital part of your support network and your journey. You have encouraged one another and urged each other to keep going. The network and relationships you have established will enrich your lives, enrich your professions, and enrich your goals and aspirations. Maintaining these connections offer a wide network of individuals who will support you as you pursue future dreams. We encourage you to enjoy, enjoy and, and, and get involved with the organization of the Alumni Association. We encourage you to be involved in social media and to keep in touch. As you prepare this next chapter in your lives, always remember that the advantages of a college education are limitless. Advance your dreams, help, your, help you achieve your, your financial stability, and provide health, as well as provide well-being for you and your families. Let me end by saying I encourage you to share your story. You are role models and the best example of what a college education, a progressive society, and an educated society can, can do. Your stories are powerful examples of what can happen with inspiration, tenacity, and hard work. As a community college, we are proud to serve many different students' needs in a student population diverse in age, cultural backgrounds, interests, and capabilities. Our diversity is our strength, and we are very proud of that. The college is fortunate to attract students from around the world, and 14 of our 160 international students are candidates for graduation today. They are from Albania, Australia, Azerbaijan, Brazil, Cambodia, China, Guyana, Jamaica, Nigeria, Taiwan, Uzbekistan, and Vietnam. We are fortunate that you have chosen to share your perspectives and experiences with our college. You, re you represent our global reach and community, and we are proud to have you as part of our long and rich history of serving citizens of the world. Our Veterans Resource Center assists student veterans in adapting to a college environment and achieving their goals. We are proud to have 23 veterans who are candidates for graduation this year. I commend you and offer our thanks, that's right, give it up for them, for your service to this great country. One of our many flagship programs is the Center for Male Engagement. This year, 18 students are candidates for graduation. Over the course of the year, 282, uh, 280 students have transferred to two- and four-year institutions from the center, and at least 65 of those students have graduated with a bachelor's degree. Three students have earned a master's degree, and one student is currently pursuing his doctorate at the University of Pennsylvania. We are quite proud of the Center for Male Engagement. And this is a very special group, a group of young individuals who are graduating today before they actually have graduated high school. How about that? <laughs> I don't know if the rules allow that. That's right, that's right. Make some noise. The college is very proud to recognize 13 students from the Mathematics, Science, and Technology School, or Mass Community Charter School. who today are graduating with associate degrees in business or healthcare studies. Nine students from Hallahan Catholic Girls High School are also earning degrees in business and healthcare studies, along with, get this, 110 candidates from the Parkway Center City Middle College. <laughs> That's right. They have pursued and achieved a degree in liberal arts. These high-achieving individuals are well-prepared for transfer as they continue to obtain their bachelor's degree. Congratulations to our high school students, because they're still high school students, who now have college degrees. We would also like to recognize one employee, or as we would say, one of our own, who is graduating this year. We commend your determination and interest in furthering your knowledge. Congratulations to Andre Johnson. Class of 2022, as you embark upon the next phase of your journey, know that you can rely on the strength, the innovation, confidence, and enthusiasm that you have demonstrated during your time at the college. 
You will contribute to any environment as a skilled professional, proactive citizen, and community leader, inquisitive problem solver, as well as a dynamic individual. You are continuing in the 56 year tradition, 56 years of tradition at Community College of Philadelphia. You leave with a clearer understanding of yourselves and your purpose in this world. By adding yourselves among the number of college educated Philadelphians, you are also helping efforts to uplift Philadelphia and its residents. Very serious responsibility. While focusing on your next chapter and new adventures, always remember to keep investing in yourself, your life interests. I know that you will blaze a bright trail in whatever you do, so I want to congratulate you once again for graduating the class of 2022. And let me close by speaking more directly to the faculty. I'd like to give a special acknowledge to them because this year, we all remember that, that infamous day, March 13, a day in infamy, when you got the call that the college was closing down. We all thought it was gonna be for a couple of days, maybe a week, but by April 1st, you were forced to redesign, to re-acknowledge everything you thought you knew, we thought we knew, as it relates to teaching and education and strategies, and you placed everything online. You did it with August, you did it with purpose, you did it because at the end of the day, you knew that it would benefit the people that are sitting before us today and who are graduating today. So I wanna congratulate the faculty, as well as the staff. It was teaching, it was support services, it was tutoring, it was counseling. We were able to make that pivot, and I think standing here today is a testament to the willingness and the will and the commitment to all those committed to that process. Each year at commencement, the college recognizes teaching excellence with the announcement of the Lindback Distinguished Teaching Award, which is made possible through the Christian R. and Mary F. Lindback Foundation. This award is available to certain colleges and universities, primarily in the greater Delaware Valley, and provides a $4,000 stipend to the winner. Funded through the generosity of the late Christian R. Lindback, the president and principal owner of Abbott's Dairies, along with his wife, Mary Lindback, this award is given to one faculty member and the honoree delivers a lecture to the community college in the coming year. The honoree will also carry the mace, as was the case with Garija this year. This year, drum roll please, the Limbach Distinguished Teaching Award goes to Professor Faye Allard. Please stand and recognize Professor Allard. Can we see her? We should. Congratulations. And I must add, this is a selection made by her peers, so she is very, very well recognized and very well acknowledged. It is now my pleasure to invite to the podium the class of 2022 student speaker, Ahmad Mitchell, followed by salutations and acknowledgments from the chair of the Community College of Philadelphia Board, Mr. Jeremiah White. You ready? Good morning to the entire CCP family. Hello everyone, my name is Ahmad Mitchell and I'm the 2021-2022 Student Government Association President. Welcome. This ceremony truly has been a long time coming. I am honored to be speaking to you all today at this momentous occasion in all of our lives. Today, we are recognized for the long nights, hours of studying, and our total dedication to our own education. Today, as we finish one chapter of our lives, we are reminded of friends we've made, challenges we have overcome, and many lessons that we've learned. These last few years have been a lot. A lot to understand, a lot to adapt to, a lot to process emotionally. However, we did a lot too. Getting vaccinated and masking up, switching to online classes, and coping with the new normal were vital changes necessary to recovering from this pandemic. We have not only met the moment with grace and strength, but exceeded expectations. Although the coronavirus pandemic threatened to derail our progress, 
collectively, we persevered, adapted, and overcame the pandemic to be here today. Give it up for yourselves. In the future, graduates, let this become a trend in your lives. Be successful despite the weather, as we did today. In the next chapter of your lives, be brave because you know that your bravery inspires hope where there is none. When you see someone in need, be a friend to them. Offer your wisdom, aid them through the darkness to a brighter tomorrow. Yes, Lions, we have gone above and beyond. Today, understand that our success is greater than any certificate. It is a product of values our alma mater has instilled in all of us. Integrity, academic excellence, diversity, a commitment to teaching and learning, communication, and respect. These are the values that make CCP alums a force to be reckoned with. Let this milestone be dedicated to our families, our teachers, and mentors that have guided and supported us to this point in our lives. I would like to thank all of the faculty and professors for their instruction, scholarships offered, and all of the intangibles that teachers provide to students. You have helped us become more thoughtful people and better students. To the administrators and our fearless leader, Dr. Donald Generals, thank you for your dedication to providing opportunities to students to the Octavius Cato Scholarship, the vision to support this diverse student body, and for advocating to improve CCP at every turn. To the students, thank you for electing me to be your leader. As Student Government Association President, I advocated for students to be represented not only within the college, but at local, state, and federal levels. The legacy of the 2021-2022 Student Government Association can be marked by his commitment to supporting student mental health and wellness, financial literacy, and establishing a voter-friendly campus. Thank you, thank you. Lions, we face a number of obstacles in our lives, but I see bright futures for all of us. Our futures are bright because our perspectives, our skills, our resilience, is what the world needs. Graduates, be proud that you are here today and repeat after me. We have not been stopped, we have arrived. We have not been stopped, we have arrived. Thank you. Good morning. I would like to uh, say that it's been a long two years before I've had an opportunity to stand before you as students. Um, and I really have to say that it is such a, uh, a tremendous feeling to be here today. Um, but we've celebrated you, right? You've done a tremendous job. We've celebrated our faculty and staff who's done a tremendous job. But I'd like now for us to celebrate also, without a captain on a ship, the ship can go all kind of places. Without the people that support the captain on the ship, you can go all kind of places. So I'd really like to give a round of applause to Dr. Generals, his cabinet, and staff for the tremendous job that they did moving us through this trying time. So, Thank you and good morning, proud graduates, college faculty and staff, family and friends. I am honored to be here in person to share this momentous occasion with you. The Board of Directors and the Board of Trustees view our work on behalf of you and the institution as a humbling and important contribution that we make. So I'd like to introduce to you some of the people that make that contribution. As far as Board of Trustees, when I call your name, could you please stand? And at the end, we'll applaud for everyone. Patrick Clancy, Rob DeBeau, Harold Epps,
Jakima Fulmore Townsend, Sheila Ireland, Rosalind McPherson. Can we hear it for our Board of Trustees? Thank you. Also, I would record, like to recognize our foundation board. Now, you know, the Board of Trustees does a lot of work. Our foundation boards are the ones that raise the money. And so we really have to also recognize them. Because without what they do, some of the scholarships and other things that we're able to provide wouldn't happen. So I'd like to introduce Ellen Jo Waller, who is the chair of the foundation board, Michelle Lawrence, and Don Klingerman. So can we hear it for them? Today, we honor you, the class of 2022, for your extraordinary resilience. Faced with unprecedented challenges, your dedication to your studies, support from your family and friends, and your willpower has brought you here today to this moment. And despite the disruptions, the loss and hardships, and we all have had losses over this last two years, you have endured throughout the pandemic and you continue to find success and accomplishments in your goals. With your education and your perseverance, each of you have proven that there is no limit to your abilities and to what you can achieve. You are well prepared to pursue our new opportunities and utilize your newfound knowledge. And you've also realized that you're just not a poor little me placed in the world, that as you grow and learn, you create the world as you move forward. You're just not placed there to just accept what goes on, that you can control and inform your destiny. And that's a very important lesson. You balance work and family responsibilities with your education over the last two years, going to online learning, as Dr. Generals mentioned, and hybrid schedules. Your out-of-classroom experiences have given you a chance to establish friendships and a network with other students, and have proved valuable and you will learn lessons that will benefit you in the future. Whether you continue into the workforce, or whether you go into a four-year institution, or whether you start or grow your own business, or embark on some other path, the knowledge you have gained in your field of study through your experience at the college will make you a contributor to any environment. Your time at the college has also taught you about the importance of community and supporting one another through difficult times. And we are in some very difficult times. The pandemic is over, but there's a whole lot of other things going on that require us to band together. Much can be accomplished individually, but there are times that working together is the only solution to finishing an academic project or making a difference in the community, like the work you did on the voter registration. Recognizing your strengths and exploring how you give back and enhance the lives of others speaks volumes to your character and to your wisdom. There are many ways that you can use your education as a force for good, from encouraging others to follow their dreams, to volunteerism, to starting a business, becoming an entrepreneur, or to be active in a neighborhood organization. Your work ethic, problem-solving skills, and adaptability will further your cause. As you approach your next venture or your next phase, continue to build on a network of support that, like you found here, and in order to inspire and nurture growth. Seek mentors and find colleagues with interests that are similar that can support you in your personal and career success. Discuss ideas and dreams that can spark unprecedented change and innovation. And remember, tomorrow is about STEM. Everything in the world is becoming more science-based. That's why we are investing heavily in STEM activities at the college. And we're making sure, because some people come to community college, they leave and come back. And what I want to say to you today is if you get to a point where you need to pursue STEM, future, come back to CCP, because we will be prepared to do what we did to get you here today. Our faculty and staff have worked tirelessly to provide a smooth transition for you. Online learning, rewarding academic experience, et cetera from virtual tools and innovative practices to provide you with a quality education and virtual support, computer technical help, et cetera. Our faculty, as I pointed out, have done an excellent job facing the challenges and providing you with a pathway forward. They've demonstrated the tenacity and assuredness 
in the work that they in store with you. I'm confident that you will achieve all the goals that you've set. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we are extremely proud of all of you, your achievements. We look forward to hearing about your future success and progress. And I want to leave you with two little points. One was by Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger said, it is not a matter of what is true, it is a matter of what is perceived to be true. You got to understand what I'm saying, because that's what's going on in the world that you're entering and that you come from. What is true, what is a, what is, it is not a matter of what is true, it's a matter of what is perceived as true. And the last thing I want to say is this. We, we, we emphasize citizenship. We want you to go out and be strong citizens, not just graduate with a degree, but be a citizen of the United States of America, which is the greatest country in the world. But sometimes we get off track. It is the greatest country in the world, but we get off track. And, but I want you to be wary of things that speak, that they're gonna define truth for you. They're gonna tell you what is true. They're gonna tell you if you oppose what is, you think is not their truth, that is disinformation and they're gonna censor you. But America's the greatest country in the world. But America has a problem because America wants us to think that we, dissent is a problem. And as a citizen, dissent is absolutely important. Freedom requires it and our, free, our future depends on it. And lastly, when you hear the phrase, maintain a rules-based order, I want to maintain a rules-based order. Remember, slavery in the United States was a rules-based order. And if the, if the people, the white and black folks, had accepted that rules-based order, we would be, instead of sitting here graduating, we'd be picking cotton. We'd be picking cotton. Stand up, look forward, and do not ever hesitate to speak the truth that you believe in your heart. Thank you. Give it up for Chairman White. Clearly the passion is there. Our Board of Trustees, that's what they do. They make sure that we're on the right path, that our mission is clear, that our goals, objectives, and strategies are clear, and that we understand that education is not an end in itself. For you, it's a beginning to a further past, but for society, it is the means for a more perfect union. So it's really important that you heed these messages and understand what's going on beyond today's activities. Your degree is meaningful, not just for you, your family, and your community, but for the survival of this country. I know it seems like a huge responsibility, but we want you to begin to think along those lines. I'd like to again give it up for our Board of Trustees that you were introduced to. Again, they are the ones that make sure we are true to our mission, our goals and objectives, as well as our foundation. Please give it up for them. They are the people who help to get the resources. Many of you, how many of you benefited from some type of scholarship this year? All right, we got quite a few hands. So your work is well done and well appreciated. Our next speaker, speaker is a person who personifies what you do with education as it relates to serving your community. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our 22 commencement, 2022 commencement speaker, city council member and majority leader, Sherelle Parker. Ms. Parker has dedicated her life to using her voice to advocate for the passage of progressive public policies that will enhance the quality of life for the middle class, senior citizens, women, children, and families alike, while promoting job creation, sustainability, economic development, and equitable public school system and consumer protection laws. She serves the 9th District in Philadelphia. Any 9th District folks here? Well, let me tell you what that is, which stretches through Northwest and Northeast communities, including East Mount Airy, West Oak Lane, East Oak Lane, Alany, Alany, Alany Longcrest, Berhome, and Oxford Circle. It's okay, you can, you can shout it out. <laughs> I'm sure she'd appreciate to know you're here. Before her election in 2015, she served for 10 years as the state representative for the 200th legislative district in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives, Representative, where she made history by becoming the youngest African-American woman ever elected in, in September of 2005. That's right. 
As chair of the Council's Labor and Civil Service Committee, Sherelle is working to ensure that all workers have financial security in their retirement. She is also focused on addressing deteriorating infrastructure and an overall lack of investment in middle neighborhoods, illustrating her passion for neighborhood stabilization and home preservation. Ms. Parker earned her Bachelor of Science in English Education from Lincoln University and her Master of Public Administration from the University of Pennsylvania. It is my pleasure to introduce my friend and city council member and your representative, Ms. Sherelle Parker. On this morning, we have a room full of soon-to-be CCP graduates who I believe are like jewels in a crown. Some of you are vanilla, some cinnamon, and some of you are like me, dark chocolate brown. Now, I want you to picture yourselves in the midst of this glory as I describe those of you who are a part of this story. Underneath your gowns, some of you may be wearing purple, royal blue, and of course black and gold, or maybe even red. And right now you're proudly seated in this audience with that special cap on your heads. And on today I see lots of sparkling eyes and some shiny lips. I watched you move through this room, walking your walk while giving helpful life tips. You've been speaking to each other with smiles on your beautiful and diverse faces. Your joy and laughter fills all of this room empty spaces. And of course you are all fashionable and stylish in what you are wearing. You look like the kind of soon to be CCP graduates who I believe are loving and caring. But you see, this morning, is not only about how you physically appear, I believe your true beauty is in the values you revere. You are all smart, articulate, and well-read with all kinds of history and valuable live life experience stored in your heads. You are the current and future jugglers of professions, managers of lives, mothers and fathers of children, partners, husbands, and wives. I think you are all good-hearted and will reach out to others and that one day you will use your CCP degree or certificate to reach back into the community and support one another. I also know that each of you will struggle through many paths. You may even suffer from prejudice and endure all kinds of ugly wrath, but I want each of you to know that you are powerful enough to brush off your suits and dresses and push open many doors, to come back fighting any struggle that you may encounter stronger than you were before. Now, I want you to imagine, if you will, my joy and thrill as I stand here feeling proud in the midst of this CCP scholastic achieving crowd with the room full of the modern leaders of today who will one day be out front blazing the way. On this morning, we have a room full of soon to be CCP graduates who I believe are like jewels in a crown. Some of you are vanilla, some cinnamon, but some are like me, dark chocolate brown. Good morning, CCP. CP. That was from a poem entitled A Room Full of Sisters by Mona Lake Jones, and it was edited for this occasion by yours uh, truly. As I begin on behalf of the City Council of Philadelphia, I bring you greetings. I want to say and give some special shout outs to your president, Dr. Generals, Board Chair Jeremiah Wright, Board Vice Chairs, Harold Epps, Roz McPherson, my link sister, all members of the board, all of the faculty and staff who make up CCP and its village, and I was shocked. I didn't know this until I walked in here. Adrian and Mark, you are somewhere in this audience, but to walk in, to learn 
that Ahmad Mitchell, the president of your student government association, I wouldn't be standing here today were it not for his late grandmother, the Honorable Augusta Alexander Clark. Gussie Clark, give her a round of applause. She's proud of you and looking down on you uh, today. To the foundation board members, headed up by another Link sister and the first lady of my, my church, Ellen Jo Waller, and to all of you, a uh, good morning. I want you to know that it's an honor and a privilege to be here to congratulate each of you on this outstanding accomplishment. You could have easily given up on your education in the midst of all of the challenges that we've experienced over the last few years, but you were determined to put in the work necessary to achieve this goal, and you are to be commended. Now, for those of you who are in this audience who know me, you know that what you see is what you get. I'm gonna speak my truth and I'm gonna tell you what I feel. And I want you to know that I was, as I was preparing for today, I was prepared to come before you and give you an address that was somewhat uh, traditional, uh, a, a message that said, hold fast to your dreams. I was pretty giddy when I heard Parkway program. Graduates were a part of the audience. Gotta give a shout out to Parkway. I'm alum. I, I was prepared to simply wish you well uh, in the future. But something happened this week. Your president, Dr. Generals, when he's not around, I want y'all to know I call him Dr. G. He came before the City Council of Philadelphia to advocate for funding for, for CCP, and he totally changed my game plan. During the budget hearing, as he was making his case about what and why CCP deserved this funding, he did something that was extremely powerful and convincing. He included the personal testimonies that came directly from the students of CCP who shared why this institution that we should refer to as the city's college was the best choice for you and how it had impacted your lives. Now, for the record, I was particularly moved by a quote from a student, and I hope I'm not chopping up your name, but it was Ireda Sanchez, a digital video production major expected to graduate in the class of 2023. Now, I want you to listen to what they said about their CCP experience. They said throughout high school, the majority of the teachers downplayed community college. They would only consider it as a last option. However, being a student at Community College of Philadelphia has allowed me to learn, here are the pearls, these are the pearls, to not really pay much mind to what people say I didn't listen to my counselors and teachers when they told me that I had to go to a four-year school, and so far, it has been the best decision that I could have ever made about my education. So I got fired up when I read this statement. So Ireda made me think about my life, our city, and you, the CCP class of 2022. I thought about some of the tools that I've used to overcome obstacles in my own life, and I'm gonna share only three of them with you today in the hopes that you will recognize the power, the power that exists in your own lived experience. And so, you're gonna have to help me with this. I've entitled my message with Ireda in mind, something that I hope, and you're gonna make a, a promise to me today that you, soon to be CCP graduates won't ever allow anyone to do to you. And when I say it, I want you to repeat after me. Don't throw shade. Now, and I'm an English teacher, and I just told you Ellen Jo Walla was my first lady, so that means I enjoy. I'm Baptist, call and response. Let's do it again. Don't throw shade on my CCP shine. Don't throw shade 
on my CCP shine. On today, as I quickly take a stroll through my own life, I was listening to Dr. Generals introduce me. And when you listen to people introduce you, especially when they're reading your bio, they talk about some important facts, but it really doesn't tell you about who I am and what moves me and why it was so important to be here today to talk to you and members of your family. And so this is what I want you to know about me. When you hear about Sherelle Parker, Parkway Program High School graduate, Lincoln University graduate, University of Pennsylvania graduate, Eisenhower Fellow traveling to South, Car uh, to South America, to Chile and Argentina, American Council of Young Political Leaders Fellow traveling down under to Australia to study women in government, stop. This is what I don't want you to ever forget about me. Sherelle Parker was born to a single teenage mother, raised by her grandparents who migrated from the South North and they ended up in North Philadelphia and lived in Richard Allen Projects. When my mother, when my mother got pregnant with me at the tender age of 15, my Aunt Vi, so the story says, said, Dorothy, you need to put Dolly in another environment. And fortunately, they moved on uptown like the Jeffersons to West Oak Lane, and I grew up on the 1900 block of Penfield Street. Now, my father was never in my life. My grandmother who raised me, she had an eighth grade education, and she was a domestic worker. Now, somebody is, I'm, I'm thinking about generations, I was born in 72, so this is an important 50-year milestone for me. So I know there are not a lot of people in this audience who even know what a domestic worker is. Somebody's resume, Jeremiah, recently called it being an environmental technician. But when my grandmother did it, what it means is she cleaned the houses of very wealthy people, having three to four clients a day. And after she cleaned their home, they left a brown envelope for her on the table. And she picked up her pay. It took her out of the tax system so she did not have access to retirement security. So when she got too old and she could no longer get on her hands and knees and clean somebody's house and scrub their floor to take care of me, that meant she had to collect public assistance. Welfare. They didn't have plastic cards during that time. I grew up taking colored money to the supermarket that came in books called food stamps. Remember walking to Pickwell, 74th and Ogons Avenue. Listen to me, soon to be graduates. Even as a child, I knew there was something wrong. Sometimes I can remember letting people who were behind me, who I could tell had a checkbook where they were about to write it out to pay their bills, or if they had cash, I can remember letting them go before me in line because I did not want anybody to know that I was paying with that special colored money. <clears throat> I share all of that with you to say that when anybody is trying to put you in a box, to tell you that because you are not Rudy, and or Theo growing up in that fictitious Cosby family. They attempt to define who you are and what you will be. I want you to think about me, Sherelle Parker, that little black girl that grew up on the 1900 block of Penfield Street. That st statistic said because of where she started, she doesn't have a chance to succeed. I, pr I want you to remember that story. I also want you to not allow three things to occur to you. The first one is this. Don't allow negative self-fulfilling prophecies to consume your mind. 
Sherelle, what is a negative self-fulfilling prophecy? When I entered Lincoln, and maybe they did this on purpose, it was one of the first lessons in sociology. It is to not allow negative perceptions about yourself to manifest, because if you think you are going to fail, chances are that you are going to fail. But on the other hand, if you think you can achieve times these days, you can and you will, but you have to think it. Don't let negative self-fulfilling prophecies consume your mind. The next, the, the next issue is, I need for all of you, and I know you have this in you because this is what comes from being in Philadelphia. Psychologist Angela Duckworth from the University of Pennsylvania. She studied these people from all walks of life. I mean, they were students at West Point, finalists in spelling bees, executives in corporate America. And she found that what was the difference between these people and others and their success, it wasn't that they had a higher IQ or that they were wealthy. It wasn't their social intelligence either. It was their grit. It was the power and passion and the perseverance that they employed that helped them to accomplish and to ch achieve great things in their life despite the odds that stand in front of them. Now, I want you to know that it was grit, right? that could allow a domestic worker to clean, but to instill in her granddaughter that I'm on my knees scrubbing and cleaning so that you don't ever have to. All I want you to do is stay focused in school. I didn't know it was called grit when my grandmother and the matriarchs of my family were doing it, but that is exactly what she exemplified. In addition to that, and this is final, I want you to promise me that you'll go back to the way we started. Don't let people throw shade on your shine. Not everyone is going to be happy that you are moving on and you have a path to success. I'm thinking about friends in your life who couldn't understand that while you were in high school, you were taking college classes and you didn't have time to monitor Twitter or Instagram or Facebook because you were online talking to those very important people and trying to meet the deadlines that they gave. For those of you who are unconventional students who were juggling a career or two and trying to raise a family and stay married and do all all of those things at once and still manage to get through that program, somebody will pick you up, pick up the phone and call you and they will say, well, you know, you don't have any time to hang out with us anymore. Or what do you think? Oh, because you're in community college now, you think you're a little bit better, you think you're extra special. Don't allow anyone to do what? Throw shade on your CCP shine. Don't allow them to do that. In closing, I want to say this to you. If you do those three things that I just mentioned, never allow the negative self-fulfilling prophecy to consume you, to make sure you hold on to your Philly grittiness, hold on to it. The power and passion to overcome any obstacle that is before you, I don't care whether you're going to work, if you're going to further your education, make sure you use the tool that you have gotten today because that's what you've gotten. You've gotten a tool in the toolbox that will use you to knock down racism, classism, sexism, and all of the other ugly isms that plague our society. And, and, and finally this, and this is important, Please know, and I, I give all the credit to Lincoln University and even my, my high school Parkway and my teachers, I give this credit to them. They allowed me to know that all of the tools, the academic tools that I received, that none of them were just for me. I was supposed to use my power for good, that the status quo was supposed to upset me, that I was supposed to do everything that 
I could in my power to close the gap between the haves and the have-nots. And that every time I thought about my very humble beginnings, that it was supposed to serve as inspiration and motivation. And I'm gonna tell you how powerful it was. While I'm in graduate school in particular, at one of the most prominent Ivy League institutions in the nation, I would look around my class and think, well, nobody in here is gonna be paying this student loan debt for the rest of their lives like I am. They have family members who could write this check or the company that they worked for wrote this check. But guess what? I had a son who was two years old, Langston Mullins, when I started. He's four years old now. As I watch those people come through the course, and if any of you are in here, I think you're wonderful and great, but I watch the power, and I watch the passion and the hunger that was inside of me. You can't compete with someone who's had to overcome an obstacle to achieve. You work harder. When we won the Super Bowl, they said hungry dogs run faster. You do. It's in your mind. You won't let love, you won't let children, you won't let anything stop you from achieving what you can in this world. So on today, I want you to know that CCP, you've inspired me. You've inspired me to know that I'm on the path right now and I'm gonna work to pursue something that a woman has never pursued in the city of Philadelphia. But if you all, all 1,802 of you, can do what you did today in the midst of a pandemic, Sherelle Parker, the little black girl from Humble Beginnings on a 1900 block of Penfield Street, I can do it too. So thank you for encouragement. And what are we never going to do? Don't throw shade! On my CCP shine. Thank you so very much for your time. Good Lord. I hope somebody's paying her for that. <laughs> that was truly amazing. Give it up once again for Councilwoman Sherelle Parker. And do what? Don't throw shade? Come on, don't throw shade on uh, my... All right. Thank you. Before we move to the next segment of this ceremony, I'm going to take a little bit of executive privilege and ask Dr. Sam Hirsch to come up and stand here. I want everyone to know that Dr. Hirsch has been an overseer, a partner, a committed member of this community for over 40 some years, 40 plus years. Today will probably be a celebration for him because he won't have to organize graduation anymore, which is quite a feat. But Sam is turning the chapter and he's moving to the next phase of his life. He has been the person that's been most responsible for the programs, the curriculum, the support services, the activities of the school. He has been my partner in all things education, and I want everyone to give him a round of applause and wish him well as he moves into the next phase of his life. We let him know that we appreciate his 40 plus years of service. So with that, your next official duty. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that has been my honor and now it's truly my privilege and honor to get the show started here. That's why you're here. So, Dr. Generals, I am very pleased to present to you the following candidates to be conferred for the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, and candidates for certificates. Candidates, you're now ready to come forward. First to walk across the stage are this year's Parkway Center City Middle School candidates for graduation, followed by Mass Charter School candidates, Hallinan High School, Helen and Catholic High School candidates. Thank you.
doesn't have anything. For Jay Gant. Dejane Shante Walker. It's Taylor Brene Wilson. Miara C. Hancock. Robert Matthew Benson. Ramses R. Groves. Selena Wynn. Caitlin A. Strelecki. Sean Douglas Garvey. Zaylin V. Robinson. Jenna Khan. Khalil Q. Odom. Lovely Autumn Day. Tamara Michaela Holmes. Amia Danielle Small. Ziana Cheyenne Cooper. Mariah Zakaya Davis. Oh. Anaya Kiara Simon. Colin Dershall. Lionel Burgos. Tana Marie Vasquez. Emiliani R. Sanfilippo. Tajane Shania Smith. Christina L. Brown. Siani Renee Crawford.
Ashlyn Sharice Blackwell. Jaleel S. Dixon. Siani L. Rodriguez. One Hall. Munir Germain Tillman. Nazir Ibn Abdurrahim. Let's go! Robert Hudson Jr. Rosini Marie Rosario. Caleb Alexander Dedrick. Kyrie Mark Joseph Milner. Maya Nicole Robinson. Ijanai D. Carter. Jia Tuang Nguyen Tran. Julie Lean Davy Rem. Isaiah G. Williams. Daisha Walker Briggs. Tamara Ayana Macy. Zinian Vaughn Robinson. Nakaria T. Thompson. Wafe Williams. Kavon Harrison. Christopher Diaz. Elise Marie Rancel. Yamina Dayette Hood. Elizabeth Trejo. Ntumba Chibola. Richie Ali Salmaron. Deneen M. McNeil. Wendy Dong. Sitlali Vaquero Garcia. Nevea Lamar Smith. Tatiana Tassandra Whitmore. Kenneth Doster Galsim. Joshua Howard. Edward J. Smith. Destiny Pearl Singleton. Uh, 
Aaliyah Sherry Robinson. Azia Robin Lee. Nasir Kyrie Priolo. Caprice Alexis Nolan. Monica Elena Bearfield. Devon Saya C. Knowles. Oluwakemi Abimbola Openibo. Jazaha Antonio Crespo III. Bryant L. Carter. Saudi Omar Rivera. Amir Juan Rivera. Elijah Britt Moore. Damaris Iris Camacho. Amaya Asaja Burgess Ginyard. Samia T. Patton. Namir Sparks. Tatiana, uh, Tiana Whitney Smith. Jasmine Jones. Anna Iwalsia Register. Amira Lanine Parker. Amara Irby. Zykia S. Wright. Janaya Yates Easley. Kellis Cantrell James. Manasia M. Sparks. Sadia M. Golfin. Quateria Sana Harrell. Yusef Albaderi. Robert Anthony Quapio Ahwakten. Cameron Tillman. Jordan Sawyer. Asata Nela Evans. Kiana Moses. Ashley Soto. Jalisha Sonia Santiago. Sharif I. Ali Jr. Oscar Mohammed.
Schneider Jean. Ronte S. Mitchell. Roshana Azira Gaines. Mia Ruth Carrero. Aaron L. Dennis. Jade Mayon O'Dowd. Caroline Doyle. Michaela L. De Cesare. Samantha Page Santavaski. Kimberly Anaya Martin. Anaya Rochelle Davis. Kimberly Marti. Hannah Martin. Emia C. Ruff. Celia Anye Lewis. Mackenzie Hania Cole. Sanaya Drew. Zaina Milan Mohammed Kelly. Rikshaya Walker. Mason F. Nellinger. Christopher William Hendershot. Sumar Pettyway. Nicole Paley. Emily Elizabeth Bear. Olivia Grace Bear. Holly Wolfenden. Holly Winter. Holly Wolfenden. Yana Sokivka. It's hard for her to see if it's here right. That's the part. Cassidy Christine Scott. Alexa Dorr. Jaren Jacob. Ethan Noble Whitaker. Christina Selena Williams. Lisa Mayers Fouché, Associate in Arts. Kenya Lakiria Brown. Quanisha Ebony Clark.
Naja Richardson. Cameron Ryan. Cameron Ryan. Michelle Denise Nieves. Rosalind Michelle Diaz. Ada I. Cruz. Lahahashe A. Thomas. Titiana Jefferson Pitts. Shauna Patel, or Panel. Shauna Panel. Andrea Evans. Cassidy Vivaski, Vikas Leon James Frame, Leon James Frame, Whitney A. McLean. Letitia M. Abdul Rahim. Samara Rachel Lopez. Naja S. Warren. Kron Bernacci. Mark A. Holly. Raniga Ra Ragina Banks. Ramon Mendoza Lebron. Colette Marie McCain. Marquis Terry Jr. Nertila Driza. Kisjana Orhani. Adelaida Zazai. Tazwar B. Shanawaz. Brianna Hunter. Tatiana Courtney Howard. Joshua Hillard. Mark Elliott Jackson, Jr. Marcelo R. Llanos, Jr. Anthony I. Brown. Ileana Y. Howell.
Sylvia Danessa Rivera. Raj Patel. Amber L. Engel. Farrell Majorie Jennings. Dominique Erica Franklin. Ronald Brandon Watts. Joseph Michael DeFeo. Monica Morales. Jama Larie Ganey. Kiana Chantel Harris, Associate in Arts in Healthcare Studies. Michael Satin. Kayleen Thavi Chuk. Tamara Smallwood. Jalaluddin Alamanov. Harris Tariq Hafiz. Tracy Marie Patterson. Brianna Renee Miller McKnight. Shania Sierra Crawford. Rima Zidane. Umaira Safi. Anaya Marie Green. Helene J. Porto Guerrero. Brianna Wells. Sarah Justice Hill. Marisol Garcia. Tanyika Yvette Johnson. Jermaine Towen Heath. Valerie Marie Ortiz. Tynesha Dunn. Anisha M. Spady. Ashley Coleman. Patrick Kilcullen. Okay. Dolores Dorothy Taylor. Jennifer A. Walton. Indigo Schuler. Maria Aya Bright.
Camille M. Burton. Linda Karina Albaruki. Tanisha N. Smalls. Summer Hawkins. Gail C. Centeno. Kajani T. Wright. Evelyn Mary Rush. Nicole Jean Jones. Sherry Hayes. Jared A. Ruley. Amr A. Elshawale. William G. Weber. Stephanie Mary Maldonado. Justin J. Stewart. Agata Dorota Pisarchik. Marquez Christian Hudgens. Kidira N. Pasture. Anjudi Brazita Perez. Christina Maria Valentin. John E. Elburn. Amanda Lee. Recovery happened. Shania Ellis. Yasemin Nassam. Essence P. Gaines. Shailen Elizabeth McIntyre. Mark Anthony Schiavo. Kalia S. Dandridge. Savannah Mana Scott. Ashley Alexandria Ray. Naz J. Mack. Siani R. Johnson. Shadonna Chanel Jones. Eric S. Porter. Kaya A. Seals Hill. Yasmin R. Fruk. Hidaya Ibrahim. Michael Allen Shaw.
Jamie Ashley Latana. Jaisha J. Roman Rosa. Angelica I. Oskal. Sasha K. Jackson. Latasha Aretta Fleming. Jamila M. N. Ferguson. Nicolin Chia. Lidona Gohagen Allen. Gregory Marvin Profet. Dihya Zabat. Anna Maria Dushi Sukuli. Juno Louise Cameron. Jacqueline Marie Halper. Rudy Crawley. Hannah Dini. Rukaya Davis. <laughs> Radia Shanita Brown. Chanel Janae Bell. Inia Shanique Withers. Amanda N. Staff. Nasir Q. Mills. Damian Anthony Banalis. Esata Ba. Shayana M. Vines. Manar Shea. A. S. Mu. Dinesh Karki. Prince Lunpi Zena. Caitlin Helene Pemper. Jamia T. Hampton. Lauren N. Curry. Tyler M. Jackson. Tahira Garrett. Christina Lynn Vicario.
Lauren Charlin Milborn. Kayona Alicia Allen. Marina Ragulina. Abhishek Saini. Tiffany Carey Powell. Ranisha Glorious Perkins. Lakisa L. Gethers. Shamira Hill Booker. Michaela Rosalind Jordan. Kahina Sharif. New Q Vo. Valerie M. Ayala Leon. Valerie Enid Roman. Evangeline Sell. Anya E. Rainwater. Jasmine Giovanna Garcia. Edwin Zayas. Jasmine M. Rodriguez. Gianna Zornick. Magdalene A. De Leon. Melissa J. Moreno. Naya S. Roundtree. Rebecca Tolulope Adelacun. Aliyah Monet Gillison. Ayani E. Badal. Akira Anne Marie Douglas. Sabria Sneed. Tylema J. Phillips. Eleni Paradisis. Bruce Johnson. Crystalline Saint Eloi. Teresa Margaret Camara. Sierra Jate Scott. Stephen Robert Janini. Laurel Robin McMaster. Jose Gonzalez. Zymir Armstead. Tara Marie Hauser Evans. Zawahi Mustafa.
Tyrone Beaufort Gary Jr. Hamida P. Fatima. Sumaya Bint Mahmoud. Lexus Alexandria Spurrell. Julie F. Castro. Vanita Young. Ava C. Litke. Precious Han. Ramon L. Gonzalez Charlestream. Yusra Ali. Donia Chavis. Cassie Pierre. Ronisha Ross. Charnel Candace Lewison. Daniel Kokulo Flomo. Tiana Cook. Asia Faust. Kelvin D. Lauren Sapori. Jasmine P. Harris. Octavia Kimberly Brooks. Arika Burwanger. Jehenzeb G. Chugtai. Anya K. Pishek. Tahara Johnson. Alexis Sponheimer. Jessica Nolbach. Tawny P. Akyaman. Molly Rose McKinstry. Kevin J. Jackson II. Donisha Thompson. Vladlena V. Nestorova. Amanda L. Bali. Ashley Brown. Shantae M. Street. Sarai Cologne Ravel. Christy Perez.
Alexis Menezes. Chantel Nelson. Yeah. Natalie Martinez Rivera. Sabrina Travers Boston. Michelle S. Garvey. Tiffany Chanel White. Alaya Monea Hammond. Ashley Castillo. Rania Abdel Mumen. Mabel Tahada. Stephanie Enid Ortiz. Weston Wentford Forbes. Kai B. Leonard. Nija Renee Dupree. Alexis S. Brown. Kelly Mascarenas Rivero. Adriana I. Amparo. Siani Chanel Johnson. Manuel Frank Lapon. Hafsa Amjad. Larissa Jaffe Ward. Tiffany Allen Goodman. Roshane Teresa Gladys Nobles. Inyi Kiara Jones. Cassandra Francois. Lunas Uikeni. Yashiba Campbell. Dorian Buchanan. Shauna Simon. Therese Moy. Alexis Kane. Marilandia Reyes Frias. Adeva O. Agyaman.
Kiana Sheree Brinkley. Brittany M. Daniels. Shakinia Renee Trailer. Zane Whitfield. Merlin Dufresne. Rashwanika Sanders. Rashwanika Sanders. Marlene Dufresne. Zane Whitfield. <laughs> Karima Merzak. Danielle M. Medio. Merlin Dufresne. Grisilda Nika, Abigail Virginia Snyder, <laughs> Joanna Mata. Tiffany Ashley Castro. Raquel Ava Sullivan. Brooke Renee Bythway. Stephen Adam Bezpalko. Jessica S. Tilker. Emily DeLeo. Sasha G. Williams. Natasha Lee Vargas. Kristen Elizabeth Finley. Sarah E. Artiga. Jennifer Marie Hardeman. Shakisa A. McCann. Felicia L. Williams. Noreen Marie Fox. Lauren Alicia Lopez. Rhonda Arlette Chellis. Ryan Shazad. Stephanie Torres. Francesca W. Stanley. Caitlin Elizabeth Convery. Alex C. Drinks. Kiana Akima Kirtan. Cameron Smacksmith. 
Gabriella Andreina Hevia. Carmen Martina Bauer. Caesar Anthony Salvaggi. Kira M. Sanders. Nia Thompson. Darian Ginyard Dennison. Anna Nazar Sarieva. Shine Jenkins. Zachary Sean Medio. A Casarini Carafusia. Anya Sargent. Gulshan Toyer Jonova. Justine J. Sadiq. Allison Grabowski. Michael James Jones. Donye Butler. Fida Ziade. Jessica Rivera. Noelle M. Steffler. Tyra LaRonda Allen. Tana Marie Santo. Jane Ann Chaperone. Tatiana L. Gonzalez. Alexis Rodriguez. Diana Rivera. Keisha Tarana Johnson. Edna Iris Pinheiro. Astri Peguero. Cherylise Roman. Brianna Watts L. Oluwashani Odu Odnana. Jeredy Visseth. Malika Scott. Yamileth Gonzalez Centron. Emmeline Jeanette Feliz Ortega. Doraleni Feliz Ortega. Dejonery De La Rosa. Joanne Wongingham. Tanisha S. Horn. Tierra A. Simpson. Samia Sadi. I. Kelly. Yolanda C. Kemp. Keitha Brandon. Justin Smith. <laughs> Tina M. Pfeiffer. Jonathan Sosa Arroyo. 
Heather Agni. Nakia S. L. Charlize House. Janine Hyman. Jainaba Ja. Nadia L. Green. Latonia Tillman. Danielle Porter. Sean Reynolds. Winnebelkis Gutierrez. Sharon Taylor. Zariah M. Woodard. Samuel D. Smith. Jacqueline Torres Melchor. Charnell Pratt. Shanika A. Stewart. Daisha Villafane. Ashley D. Hunt. Chantel Lewis. Jasmine Kenya. Alyssa L. Rhodes. Kelsey Tempest Cardenas Myers. Shinia Erica Small. Amber Davis Acosta. Jessica Anhalt. Brooke Lynn Asman. Jacqueline Dichter. Tyler Rojas. Ronald R. Ravenel II. Tatiana A. Perkins. Maya Diamia Pendergast. I. N. Win. Li Ping Zhang. Ijeoma M. Okonkwo. Tamika D. Fisher Moody. Syri Sharif Taylor. Damarura Linda Lachey Martinez. Viviana Ortiz. Amina Bethany Sims Rembert. Samira Azizova. Jonathan Davila Gonzalez. Yaselis Matias. Alisa Boone. Ahmad S. Mitchell. Hayat Kasaye Aman. Morgan D. Jones. Imani Ajamira Cleveland. Leslie Campos. Jennifer Rivera. 
Anita Sirwa Burko. Adara Jones. Diamond Lynn Smith. Stefan Fiorella. Huh? Anita Sisi. Emily Ricardo. Brian Luong. Aliyah Denise Rogers. Timothy John Patton. Joseph Michelle Mahoney. Joseph Jones. Gabriella Isabel Etanislao. Let, let me remind everyone that your degree is not certified until you stay through the remainder of the program. So if you're out in the hallway, you need to come back. Ariana Pedula. Eric Fon. Irene Alexis Muniz. Adorabemi Oluwakemi Afuape. Amber Nisa. Christina E. Wilmore. Nicholas Perry. Aliyah Robinson. Antoinette Burton Sumner. Kadira J. Jones. Alicia Haika. Christina Council Tate. Amani N. German. Brittany Bellamy. Kazi Afia Wasima. Gwyneth K. Ward. Salman Mohammed Abd Alaziz. Nijat Jafarov. Mariah Rios. Zarnab Acher. Dereje Jiro Abaye. Shayana Aliyah Morris. Tanya M. Covington. Precious Taikira Hicks. Gavrina Prashan Ralph. Lakeisha Irene Watts Powell. Quintesha McKinney Vereen. Sandra M. Lloyd. Mulyanawati Andoko. Kayla Camilla Lopez. Shiler Maria Joseph. Kalkida Mulugeta Admasu. Ariana Blas Laurent. Maxine Harris. Allison G. Harris. Loida Gonzalez. Jose A. Pantoja Sanchez. Benesha Dior Whitney. Stacy McLean. 
Kara Elizabeth Lazorko. John Robert Griffin. Zalma J. Azamar Rojas. Marianne Paul Ocon. Jermaine Matthews. Azalene Vehavana Barber. Ruth V. Howard. Shakita Janice Drayton. Shayani Shanae McDowell. Antella Nazaraj. Doressa Stevenson. Asana Omar. April Marie Oyola. Sania Akins. Antoinette Edith Rose Lewis. Selena Palmer. Period, period. Sabrina M. Seawright Newson. Kelly C. Centeno. Maya Wright. Davida Johnson. Tyshera S. Brooks. Jamila Nema Stewart. Tayana Shields Washington. Janae D. McCord. Zari Edmund. Anna Maria Rivera. Grace Kelly. Kira Ann Robinson. Kiara C. Harbin. Natasha Marie Fletcher. Daniel Chiawi. Roseanne Oriero. Lin Du Wong. Jenna Pinckney. Akira Sharnice Harris Watson. Pearl Elizabeth Dixon. Renita A. Geddes. Danny Choi. Marquez A. Biddle Johnson. Diana L. Lassiter. Shauna S. T. Shaw. V. Chum. Zion Tariku. Arthena Simone Lee. Fernanda Caridad Ayerbe Perez. Sachira Marie Gomez. Tayon Caprice Gaines. Aisha Chambliss. Heather McCusker. Shamik Burnett. Elizabeth Mukan. Tiffany David. P. 
Peter D. Sokum. Daniela Cruz. Cyan T. Robinson. Shannon Stewart. Samantha Shanetta Rowe. Melanie Gutierrez. Cherie Wimberly. Diego Benitez. Sierra Deneen Pleasant. Brianna Ann Robinson. Violetta Whiteman. Brendan Denver. Tiffany D. Smith. Chanel Nolan. Fatima D. Williams. Samia Edina Chuck. Monet Angel Foy. Shatiana G. Rivera. Sandra I. Rodriguez. Candice Brittany Howard. Mohammed A. Omer. Victoria Elliott. Shakira Purnell. Talisa Jodana Superville. London Bogdan. Faram B. Shah. Mustafa Hamdash. Carlos Ruiz III. Ashley Nicole Stitt. Malik A. Williams. Nicholas Balawider. Once again, I'd like to remind everyone that the degrees need to be confirmed. Please come back into the arena. Security, student life staff, get those out in the hallways to come back into the arena. Zakia H. Mason Clay. Paige DiGregorio. Janelle Stephanie White. Amy Doreen Shaw. Layla K. Kamilova. Sayeda R. Zara. Mariah Robinson. Helena A. Sullivan. Talia Goldsmith. Brittany J. Cuevas. Tynese Shayna White. Jamika Ayanya Catlett. Taheim Tevon Archbold. Marlene D. Watton. Stephanie Taylor Haygood. Fung Yi Fu. Chloe R. Nunu. Amatula de Jesus. Melissa Marin Ocampo. Ashlyn Mary Lewis. Aliyah Antoinette Steele. Taiwan Kenny Johnson. 
Sable Diane Collins. Vanessa Angel David. Nikki Woods. Courtney M. Freeman. Eredita Lugashija. Emmanuel Freeman. Emmanuel Joseph Daniels. Naomi L. Lynch. Mark Conte. Tejana Dominic Mosley. Micah Manalak Balabalo. Quatine T. Gaffney Smith. Charday Lynn Days. Zayani Z. Stokes. Don George Rajan. Naya L. Turner. Nashe A. McDuffie. Thomas J. McIntyre. Myera Rosenswig. China Shaw. Jin Yan Chen. Kolo Toure. Miriam Timbo. Sadika Atia Glover. Twanchen M. Coachman. Amel Z. Ben Hodger. Carolina De Los Santos. Cordia A. Hinton. Kayla Smith. Jasmine Ariel Butler. Yorlani H. Serrano. Mariah Manick. Brittany Lee Figueroa Llanos. Brandy Lee Samantha Reed. Samantha Nicole Deal. Katrina H. Zammer. Shambra Ijene Dunstan. Brianna Copes. Melanie N. Edwards. Scarlett Fonseca. Deva I. Thomas. Angeli Thomas. Shania Blakely. Uniqua A. Wilkerson. Sania Salmon Gaddis. Crystal Lewis. Sean Michael Bradley. Marilyn Sanchez. Paula Marie Ferreira Otanez. Elisa N. Lorito. Taniva Dunn. Iman Mohammed. Crystal Monique Salvati. Amira Tana Brunson. Sakira Scarborough. Kamara Chapman. Jennifer Sophony Sack. Brelisa Y. Matos. Abba 
Nawaz Rashid. Tanya N. Christian. Camila Yasmin Jones. Afshan Khan. Tanjir Burnett. Nicole Thomas. Nakia Lebron Lewis. Nakaria Naomi Underwood. Ashley A. Bivens. Pauline Gonger. Richard Spencer Jr. Jean Elizabeth Floyd. Cruz I. Gallardo Bernal. Jean Elizabeth Floyd. Pascal Maca. Lavian Austin Scott. Nicholas Argabright. Shania Michelle Pereira. Saul Babar. Emir Henry Whitney. Maxim Ostashko. Danielle Gebra Michael. Alexandra Tan Wen Trong. Laval Goiko. Tahara Garrison Brown. Dr. Generals. We have an announcement. We have another Tahara. announcement, Tahara. Tahara is Tahara? here, yes. Tahara is making her way up the, st the stage. Go, go, Tahara, go. We're gonna take a, a brief moment to announce that in the world of community colleges, there is a scholarship called the Jack Kent Cook Scholarship, which offers $55,000 a year for the next two years for a student to complete their baccalaureate degree. And we have a winner. They only give a couple out over the course of the, they only give a couple out throughout the country. And Tahara? Did I say her name right? She is a winner. She, uh, she's finding out today. Give her a round of applause. She is representing Community College of Philadelphia, Philadelphia and Pennsylvania as a Jack Kent Cook Scholar. Congratulations. <laughs> $55,000 a year to complete her baccalaureate degree. Destiny Bradley. Mariselli Colette Rosa. Najeen R. Johnson. Peter L. Caldwell Jr. Mackenzie A. Donnelly. 
Jasmine Morabel. Ariel Jaylene Arzuaga. Marie L. Shaw. Laurel R. U. Church. Erica Lombard. Noel Anderson. Marinetta L. Franks. Lenses Carl D. Aliansen. Taylor S. Dixon Moore. Sierra Richardson. Tykera D. Vini Huggins. Kayla C. Galarza. Debrenna Morrison. Melissa Roseman. Dana Harris. Lisa Noel. Sarah Francois. Where are you, Kinze? Faith D. Wee. Aisha Jawo Tunis. Vivian Akali. Bintu Conde. Yao Ignace Watutosum. Makaha Lacey. Alyssa Malin Rios. Brittany Alston. Ajane S. Talbert. Monique Bryce. Shahira Christina Jackson. Lakeisha Lockhart. Tarita E. Wright. Alicia Nicole Quarles. Carly Kinmonth. Tyrell Whitley. Brianna M. Tate. Kaya Ward. Kiana Marie Bird. Sabratini Simeon. Victoria Tatiana Carter. Crystal Nikia Lee. Joyce A. Silva Neto. Kenneth Maynor. Robin Pierce Mills. <laughs> Dominique Morris. Nadira Carter. Brittany Ann Slover. Simran K. Bassey. Sumeya Akhtar. Dorcas Deansa Duker. Norvetta Stewart. Megan Holben. Lisandro Chassin. Kalima Alberta Duncan. Betsuga Mackinnon. Lisa Miriam John. 
Tiana Sasha Gay Planter, Ladaya Tansky, Amena Aslam Chima, Cozy Schneider. Dr. Generals, I have the privilege of presenting the members of the class of 2022. Who have with diligence and honor fulfilled the requirements of the associate degrees and certificates. By direction of the faculty, I commend them to you and recommend the degrees and certificates be granted with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Thank you, Dr. Hirsch. We need to make a lot of noise out here. Make some noise. Let's make up for those empty spaces. There you go. Thank you, Dr. Hirsch. I am pleased to accept these candidates who have, with diligence and honor, fulfilled the necessary requirements. Members of the 56th graduating class of Community College of Philadelphia, the authority to confer these degrees and certificates is vested by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania under the Constitution of the State and the Board of Trustees of Community College of Philadelphia. By the Board of Trustees, this authority is in turn delegated to me. Each of these degrees and certificates is granted upon the recommendation of the appropriate faculty of the college. I am proud to confer upon each of you the degree and certificate for which the appropriate faculty has recommended you. And I admit you to all of the rights, privileges, responsibilities, perquisites, and immunities pertaining thereto. You are officially graduated. You're already standing. You may now move your tassels from the right side of your mortarboard to the left, and it will henceforth and evermore be on the left side. Congratulations. Just one more minute of your indulgence. As you eagerly, eagerly look towards a new horizon, remember the importance and excitement of today. Use this energy to keep evolving your knowledge and your understanding of the world. Continue to push boundaries, test your capabilities, and fight for what you believe in. Urge others to improve their lives, as you have by unlocking the potential of a college education. A more just and yes, perfect union awaits your efforts. Fight for what is correct, as well as a better place for us all to live. I encourage you, be bold. See the world for not what it is, but what it can be. Make the changes that, may, that need to be made. Before this 56th commencement ceremony comes to a close, I would like you to remember that we are proud to call you alumni and that you will always be a part of the community college community. I hope that each of you finds success, happiness, contentment, prosperity, and most importantly, enjoy life and have some fun. Be careful out there. On behalf of all of us at Community College of Philadelphia, congratulations to the class of 2022. Friends and family, please remain seated for our recessional. The presidential party will leave the stage, followed by the class of 2022.
Will the faculty marshals please lead the graduates from the arena? for attending the 56th commencement exercise of Community College of Philadelphia. Go Lions!